Local media in Egypt is reporting that lawmakers there are set to vote on banning women from wearing the niqab in public places as well as government institutions. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know what a niqab is, uh, Mark, basically what it is is the full face veil which exposes the eyes. It's from head to toe, uh, usually black. We see it a lot in Saudi Arabia, for example. Uh, so it started out as just a ban on uh, Cairo's biggest university at first. Uh, they didn't want female professors wearing these because it kind of took away from the lecture and it was harder for people to learn. Okay, that's a pretty practical reason, but I think when voting uh, as far as you know, banning it all right, uh, straight up in, in, in public and in all government uh, grounds, I think that is part of a much bigger picture. And I want to get into that a little bit. Um, and to do that, I want to quote Amna Nusir, who's a professor of Islamic creed at the Islamic Al-Azhar University. Uh, here's what she has to say. I have said for more than 20 years that the niqab is not obligatory in Islam and have been harshly criticized for this view. We seek to spread moderate Islam. Wearing the niqab in public has raised concerns in the Egyptian streets in view of the harsh circumstances the country is undergoing. So I guess since 2013, uh, since, the, uh, since the president was kicked out, I mean, we saw an upsurge in military attacks. Uh, militant attacks, rather. Uh, we, we, we see the spread of ISIS in, in Egypt, neighboring Libya as well. The whole region is very unstable. So for that reason, I think what a lot of uh, Egyptian lawmakers want to do is kind of be seen as a more moderate society and kind of go in the complete opposite direction, which is kind of sad because in a way, you're saying, well, we're going to be more moderate, but then again, you're taking away women's rights to wear them even if they want to. But it's for security reasons, basically. So she's saying that it's not, it's not required by religion to wear wear this and and so right nowhere in the Quran does it state that you have to wear this for example though it might be somebody's pre preference or choice to wear it and they're now going to be disallowed from doing that if this gets voted through yeah exactly I mean we've seen other countries uh, in Africa I mean like Cameroon Senegal for example have been banning these uh, for security reasons specifically uh, you know we, we've 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 done a lot of stories here about how ISIS fighters are basically wearing these to get past security right and then they go and blow themselves up or something like that but yeah you're right I mean as far as the Quran itself goes I mean nowhere does it say that you have to wear this it's suggested that women should dress modestly uh, that they should cover their bosoms, for example, to quote the Quran. But nowhere does it say that you have to wear this. It's more of a cultural thing. Um, so, so to go back to my basic point here, I think you know this is kind of their way to step into a more uh, moderate society and kind of make themselves look more like a country like Turkey, for example. You know what I mean? In, in light of all the security concerns that's facing Egypt, because we know it's a very unstable country. I mean, they're throwing a lot of people in jail. Dissenters are constantly thrown in jail in Egypt, not because they want to take away from people's freedoms per se, but it's a very, very unstable region, and they have to be very careful because we can see. Egypt easily turn in to another Libya or another Syria or Iraq. So it's it's not necessarily taking uh, rights away from from women, but but giving them the right to not have to wear that is. I'm I'm trying to understand. It. It's not definitely something. Well, they I'm, just don't want people wearing these in public, and and half of it is to be perceived as a more moderate society. The other half is it is a legitimate security concern. I, I cited the other countries that have taken similar measures. Uh, but so, but those are the two main re reasons, I believe. So, there's that. So we're gonna have to see basically if uh, this goes through. Um, taking away women's right to wear the niqab is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? You tell me.